Hey guys, it is JSTAR360 here. Sorry for the t-shirt, but it's really warm in here and I don't want to sit here in a shirt. Also, I know this is my third video for the day and my fourth video um, in total. My fourth video in total. Um, also, sorry for the glare on the sunglasses, but anyway. But yeah, I know this is my third video for the day. I'm going to be doing Clone Wars vlog later which is the fourth video, but I need to just make this video real quick because some big news got announced. I'll have a link to the article in the description below in case you don't believe me, but anyway, here's some big news. So, so today, Pixar had two announcements, one of which is Cars 3. This does not surprise me at all because I just said they're doing some car shorts, I figure... Well, why would they do be doing car shorts unless they want to keep cars in our mind? Which means that they're probably planning another Cars movie, which pisses me off. But on the upside, we are getting... Ready for this? The Incredibles 2. You heard right. Incredibles 2. And I took those sunglasses off because this is some sh serious shit. We are getting Incredibles 2, which... On one end, I'm really happy about, but on the other end, this really concerns me. Now, would what you'd be asking yourself, Jay Star Wars 60? Why are you so concerned about The Incredibles 2? Well, I'm not. In fact, I'm happy. I love The Incredibles. I am so happy that we are finally getting a sequel to The Incredibles. Here's what concerns me, though. Pixar has been jumping on the franchise wagon a lot. I mean, we have. I mean, I would say we have the Toy Story sequels, but I'm not going to count those since those are actually really good. Well, I, haven't, I wasn't too big on the second one, but I haven't I saw it once a little. Maybe if I go back, I'll rewatch it. But point is, the Toy Story films are critically acclaimed. I'm not putting those on the list. We have Cars 2, which sucked. Then we have the Monsters, Inc. prequel, which was eh. And now we have a Finding Nemo sequel coming out, and a Cars sequel coming out, and in addition to that, we have an Incredibles sequel coming out. My point is, is that Pixar used to be a studio that did original content. They only did sequels when they had really good ideas, like Toy Story 3. But now they're doing sequels all the time, so it's kind of like, are they doing this because they sincerely love these franchises and they have good, good ideas, or are they just running out of ideas and just doing this just to make money? Because DreamWorks has all these fran- they have like, I'm trying to think, they have all these franchises going. And they are making a shit ton of money. I mean, DreamWorks, they have the Shrek franchise, which they might bring back. They have Madagascar, which has a spin-off movie coming out in 2015. Kung Fu Panda's going right now. It has a sequel coming out in 2015. High Train Your Dragon, which is has a sequel coming out this summer, and a third one coming out in 2016. And they recently have The Croods. So Pixar is like, hey, works for them. Why not us? So that, it kind of bothers me. I'm worried. So I'm excited for Incredibles 2, but I'm wor it's just I'm worried that they're doing this. Be not because they have a really good idea for a sequel to The Incredibles, but because it'll make money. And if it's for that reason, then I think I we I should say you best just leave Incredibles alone so we have that really good franchise. But I could be wrong, because to be fair, Monsters University, I said this in my review, I said fans of Monsters, Inc. will probably really enjoy Monsters University. I mean, when I went to see Monsters University in Fears, all the people with me who are really big fans of Monsters, Inc. really liked this movie. And to be fair, I mean, I wasn't that big a fan of the first Monsters, Inc. either. And to be fair, again, who knows? Maybe Finding Dory will be really good. I mean, it could be that good. So we'll just have to wait and see. So if Pixar treats its next couple sequels, specif specifically fi Finding Dory, with a lot of love and a lot of care, then Incredibles 2, I have no doubt, will be awesome. But if they're just churning these out because they can, then we have reason to be worried. And the reason why I take the sunglasses off to say this is because, one, you know, I love Wanting and Rebels 2, and two, Pixar is a studio that I used to love, but recently they've gone down a bit, and it concerns me when they go from s s only doing sequels because when they re unless it really meant something to them, rather than doing whatever studios do, which is just make a sequel because the first one made money and we want to make sure tons of money. 
to now that Pixar is just sequel, 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 sequel. I'm just like, Pixar, can you just make original content and stop with the franchise thing? And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say at this point. Again, this isn't really a rant, because again, Pixar isn't... Outside of Cars 2, I haven't hated any of Pixar's movies, but I'm just a little concerned. So yeah, this is JSTAR 360 here, and I'll see you... So, what are your thoughts on this big news? Like, this... Comment below and let me know, and as always, like my video if you'll agree with me, dislike if you disagree with me, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And, yeah, so, that's all I have to say at this point. I'll see you guys later tonight when I do my Clone Wars vlog on the second episode of the Clove Stark, assuming nothing comes up. Yeah, but otherwise, this is JSTAR360, and please let Incredibles 2 not suck. Have a good day!